What's up, HRV? I'm Diego Yukan. And I'm Brandon Hernandez. Welcome back to episode 231 of What's Up, our weekly show about what's going on at HRV. Brandon, do you have plans for anyone special on Valentine's Day? Not yet. I forgot. Well, don't worry. The FFA is selling rose grams, and you can still make an order. We talked to Karina Marquez to find out more. Hey guys, it's Karina Marquez, and I'm here to tell you all about the HRV FFA's rose grams. The rose grams are made by our lovely agriculture leadership class. We got some red roses and baby's breath from a local flower shop, and we will construct them the day before Valentine's Day and then deliver them to all the receivers on Valentine's Day. We are using the money that we raise to go to national convention next fall. So it's a big FFA convention in Indianapolis and a lot of our money will go to that or for our meetings that we put on and also fair time if we need any extra goodies. So the pricing for the rose grams is $7 for a regular, just it's just a rose and a little note, or $10 for a deluxe which comes with a special chocolate and the rose. So you can get a rose gram at lunch selling all this week. Uh, this cart will be going around at lunchtime and you'll hear it w because we're playing music and you can just approach the cart and get your rose gram there. We take cash, Apple Pay, and card. So no excuses that you don't have money. <laughs> One thing you should know is you should learn whoever you're wanting to send it to their 8th period class. And if you can write that when you're typing in the information, that'd be super helpful to us. Next week is Spirit Week. Here's the schedule. Monday's Dress Up Decades. On Tuesday, it's Crazy Dress Up Day. Wednesday, students dress like teachers and teachers dress like students. Thursday is Rivalry Day with a twin. On Friday, it's Senior day and we'll also have the talent show if you want to buy flowers for valentine's we have another idea for you danny's kitchen is a new business in the industrial park across from windmaster they sell cookies and they also host cooking classes we send a team to find out more hi my name's danny i'm the owner of danny's kitchen shop i started danny's kitchen shop in 2015 when I was working for Oregon State University, I was teaching a lot of after school programs and I was inspired to have my own teaching kitchen because I was lugging tons of equipment into classrooms, uh, baking ovens and all sorts of stuff. And I knew that I just wanted to have my own space. So I started Danny's Kitchen Shop with that goal in mind. It took until 25, or 2019 for me to actually launch Danny's Kitchen Shop into an actual business. It started slowly uh, with a few dozen a week and quickly escalated to where I was doing about 10 dozen a week and then 20 dozen a week. And within about eight months, I was averaging about 30 dozen cookies a week while working full time. So I knew it was gonna turn into something, I just didn't know what. So today, Danny's Kitchen Shop uh, is, by nature, a custom cookie business. Uh, I average about 600 cookies a week. Um, most of that is custom and holiday designs. And during the peak season of Christmas, I make about 1,200 cookies a week on average. I do have one full-time employee uh, that bakes and helps decorate and does all the odd jobs. Um, and I find myself teaching and uh, creating and designing cookies. My favorite parts of my job are one, creating custom cookies for specific events. I love the different uh, design requests that I get and the creativity that I get to have in that. And the second favorite part of my job is actually teaching and bringing people in together, working through recipes and sharing tips and tricks that people just didn't know and helping them to become successful home bakers and cooks. Currently, Danny's Kitchen Shop offers a monthly variety of different classes. We typically offer uh, two to three cooking dinner classes and then one or two baking classes along with a monthly cookie decorating class. So I work with a number of different uh, bakers and instructors, food scientists, 
uh, different people that can share different skills. And the reason I do that is I don't know everything. There's a lot of things I don't know. And it's really fun to bring in people that have a skill that I don't have because I get to learn from them and they get to share it with our community. My number one baking and cooking tip is just do it. Get in there, try things. Things won't work out. I have an experiment over there that I'm actually gonna throw in the trash later today. But just try things, find some recipes, get hands on, test it out, and make things that you enjoy eating. So my advice for uh, jumping into a small business is find something you're passionate about, be consistent, and put in the hard work. Uh, be sure to follow me on social media. We have Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Brandon, what are you looking forward to this semester? Definitely graduating. You? I'm not sure yet. We asked people what they're looking forward to. Who am I here with? Uh, Anthony. Natalie. Juan. What are you guys looking forward to this semester? Not getting in trouble. Community works. Getting good grades. Thank you. Jose. Nate. What are you guys looking forward to this semester? Uh, getting new classes. Probably, um... Acing Patterns Physics. Nice. Who am I here with? John Lopez. What are you looking forward to this semester? I'm looking forward to spread love and kindness around the world. Thank you. Who am I with? Mark Keith. What are you looking forward to this semester? Um, track season. Nice. Who am I here with? Uh, Finley. Sadie. GL. What are you guys looking forward to this semester? Not having my zero period. Nice. Yeah, definitely same. <laughs> I got an off-site. Nice. Who am I here with? Valentina. What are you looking forward to this semester? Um, this summer. Thanks. Who am I here with? Mr. Becker. What are you looking forward to this semester? I am really looking forward to the sun coming out and us having flowers in the greenhouse. Me too. Thanks. All right, who am I here with? Cassius Logan. What are you looking forward to this semester? Just meeting new classmates, you know, having a great time here at HRV. Thanks. Here with Quincy. All right, Quincy. What are we looking forward to this semester? Uh, probably getting to see the sun more, getting the ball outside. So, so yeah. All right, balling outside. Who am I here with? Lily Ames. What are you looking forward to this semester? Um, I think some of my new classes and just like new friends and stuff. Nice. Here with Rowan Sky Gilman. What are you looking forward to this semester? Spreading positivity. Who am I here with? Uh, Mr. Trujillo. What are you looking forward to this semester? Softball. Who are you here with? Ryan Spino. What are you looking forward to this semester? Um, algebra. Nice. Go. That's our show for the week. Thanks for watching. Come back next week and we'll tell you what's, what's up. up.